What up, players? It's War Boss Tay back up in this mug. Day 24 of the 2017 July Painting Challenge. And I got a little bit more done. I put some black paint on this guy's bolter and some wires. I painted the parchment purity seals and the uh, wax, but still not much to speak of with him. I'm going to really need to devote an entire day to him. Instead, I spent the day working on the shades and the highlights for these two characters. I wanted to show you the difference between the highlighted and only shaded areas. So I think the highlighted area looks really nice and clean and it pops and it just looks really cool. So I'm really happy that I'm, I'm planning to do that with all of the armor pieces for this guy just to make him stand out on the battlefield. And for the Librarian, I'm really happy with how the armor turned out. I did McCrag Blue, followed it with Known Oil and Drakenhof Nightshade, one after the other. I waited till the Known Oil was dry, and then I did the Drakenhof Nightshade, and it came out really, really nice. And then I used Teclis Blue to highlight the edges of the armor to give a little bit of a ghostly, glinty gleam to it. The glistening, glittering gleam. And, uh, what else? Not much else to speak of. I'm working on the other highlights. And this guy should be done by tomorrow. Hopefully. So there are the two that I've been working on. And I'm really pleased with my progress. I'm really pleased that I finished the base work last week. It's one less thing I have to worry about when it gets to be crunch time near the end of this week. And yeah, it, it's looking really good. I'm really, really happy with my progress and I just am really pleased to keep it going. Now for the question of the day, I love Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers. It is such a great read. I read it when I was in high school because I saw the movie, it was in the 90s at the time, and I thought, well, this is so cool, I want to read about it. And I saw the book in my local Barnes & Noble, Walden Books, Borders, I don't remember what it was. And it uh, had the, the cover of the movie with Casper Van Dien screaming, and every, it looked like, you know, an action science fiction. And I was like, yeah, this is so awesome. And then I read it, and it's all <laughs> about, like, fascism and militaristic governments and uh, the expansion, man's expansion into space and uh, martial law and, and all this other stuff. It, it was really mind-blowing to me how different it was from the movie. But the more I read it, the more interested I, I was in the storytelling and the, uh, the might makes right trope that they use that the, um, the, the winner and the one who writes the history book is the one, at the end of the day, who's standing over his opponent, defeated with a big club. So I love this book. I'm rereading it again and again and again because I'm using it for uh, inspiration for, for my novel that I'm writing. I think it, it includes like a really great training section about the main character going in training, and that's kind of where I want to draw a lot of my artistic uh, inspiration from because every good story about a military has to have a good boot camp scene or section. So I'm uh, looking at a bunch of different movies and uh, books for inspiration on, on boot camps, especially when it concerns, you know, fantasy, medieval, low fantasy kind of setting. It's going to be an interesting one to develop for me. So anyways, I'm interested to hear what your favorite books are. And I know Daniel Sprinkle, this one was uh, one he went into exhaustively, and I, I got so many good notes from all of his recommendations that I'm going to um, uh, buy and slap onto my Kindle for, for reading. But I'm, I want to hear what you guys like. What do you like to read? Let me know. Okay, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Latest players!